There are proven models that government can look at to solve this e-government access challenge. Credit card and debit card networks are proven. They work across borders, they're global in scale, consumers understand how the model works, there's built-in privacy, and there's accountability. This is what government needs to do when it comes to online access. Rather than trying to issue user IDs and passwords on its own, what it needs to do is create a partnership model that allows consumers to use things that they have already. In Canada, a model very much like this has been in operation since 2012. More than 5 million Canadians use the service, and it processes more than 3.5 million transactions a month. It's used at all federal website destinations, as well as other private sector destinations. Importantly, it's been recognized by the privacy community for privacy leadership. Today, Canadians are able to use a service called Secure Key Concierge to access all federal websites, eGov, healthcare, and other private sector services. It's backed by all the large banks in Canada, so Canadians can use the same user ID and password they use every day for online banking to access government services online. Importantly, the service is backed by a triple-blind privacy model. That means that the government does not know about the user's banking details or what bank they're using. The, the bank in its place does not get to see the user's online destination. In SecureKey, who operates the service, we do not know the identity of the user. What that means is none of the transaction participants has a complete picture of the user journey. That is triple-blind privacy. The benefit to government about using a service like this is that their business assurance is going to be higher. Their online adoption is higher, and also the user satisfaction goes up. But the most important point is that their costs have gone down dramatically. This is why the Secure Key Concierge service works so well, for three important reasons. The first reason is, is that users use their bank account every single day, so it's not likely they're going to forget their user ID and password. And if they do, the banks are really good at helping them get back online. The second reason that banks are good partners for government is because, like government, banks have a, a high requirement for business insurance when it comes to creating the bank account. And the banks have their own motivation to get it right. Firstly, that's where the user's money is, and they need to consider customer loyalty and brand reputation. So they have their own reasons to get it right. The third reason that Secure Key Concierge works so well is because users are motivated to recover. What does that mean? If there's a problem with my bank account, I'm going to notice it quickly, and I'm going to also act right away to sort out the problem because that's where my money is. From a government point of view, this is really important for integrity. Fraud won't last long because users and banks are acting together when it comes to making sure that the online access is managed well, and the user's going to notice when there's a problem quickly and will act quickly to sort it out.